All right, sorry, skip lesson one, task two, and moving on to lesson two, function construction diesel fuel systems. All right, describe the characteristics of diesel fuel, self-study environment, given the subtours within the assistance. Within one hour, no supplementary references are needed for this task. Introduction fuels with modern high-speed diesel engines are derived from the higher residue of crude oil left over the more volatile fuels, such as gasoline, kerosene, are removed during the refining process. Large, slow-running diesel engines used the stationary marine installations will almost burn any grade heavy fuel oil. The contrast, the smaller high-speed diesel engines require fuel oil that is light as kerosene. Although diesel fuels are considered residue of the refining process, their specification requirements exacting, uh, are just exacting as gasoline. In this lesson, the function control construction of the diesel fuel system will be discussed. The first task will be described. The characters of diesel fuel secondary task will proprietary port portray principles construction function of the diesel fuel system in the vehicles. Character of the diesel fuel cleanliness. Probably with the most necessary character of the diesel fuel cleanliness, any form of material present in the diesel fuel will certainly cause damage to the finely machined injector parts. Damage occurs in two ways. Particles dirt scoring the injector components, moisture in the fuel will can cause corrosion of the injector components. Any damaged fuel injectors will cover the poor operation or render Engine and operative the controlling dirt and moisture content of diesel fuel more difficult because of the heavier than gasoline. This cover the floor material will remain with the suspension longer. So sediment bowls do not work as well with the gasoline fuel system. Vicosity, vicosity of fluid, the indication of the resistance of flow, which means the fluid of the high vicosity is heavier than the fluid of low vicosity. Vicosity with the diesel fuel is much long much must be low enough to flow flow freely with the lowest lowest operational temperature yet high enough to provide lubrication and move the parts and finally machine injector the fuel must also be sufficient vicious vicious so that the leakage of the pump plungers dripping over the injectors will not occur the vicosity also determine the size of the fuel droplets which in turn cover the organs the atomization penetration quality of the fuel injector spray Ignition quality. Ignition quality of fuel's ability to ignite with spontaneously under the condition existing with the engine cylinder. Spontaneous ignition point of the diesel fuel function of the pressure, temperature, and time because of the difficulty to reproduce the operating of the condition with the fuel artificially outside of the engine cylinder of diesel engine operating with the control condition. You have determined the ignition quality of the diesel fuel. The yardstick that is used as measure ignition quality of the diesel fuel is a uh, setatine number set, um, scale. The setatine number of the fuel is obtained by uh, Comparing the operation of the reference fuel with the reference fuel, a mixture of the alpha methyl ethylene, and which has virtually no spontaneous ignition qualities, pure set setatine, uh, which has a considerable perfect spontaneous ignition quality. The percentage of the setting is setting setting is uh, increased gradually with the reference of the fuel with the interval the fuel matches the spontaneous ignition quality of the fuel being tested. Setting number is established for the fuel being tested on the percentage of the setting preference present reference mixture. Diesel engines have the tendency to produce knock that is um, particularly with noticeable during time that the engine is under a light load with the knocking curve due to the condition known as ignition delay and ignition lag. When the power stroke begins, the first mo mo molecules of fuel injected into the combustion chamber with the vast vaporized superheat before ignition occurs. During this period of quality unburned fuel builds up in the combustion chamber, the ignition curve of the pressure and curve of the cause of the build up fuel to ignite instantly, but this will cause a disproportionate increase in pressure, the causing distinct audible audible knock. Increase of the compression ratio of the diesel engine will decrease the ignition lag, the tendency of the knock. Contrast with the gasoline engine with the tendency of the knock will increase the increase of the compression rate. The knocking of the diesel engine is affected by factors of the other than compression ratio, such as type of the combustion chamber, airflow within the chamber, the injector nozzle type, airflow tool temperature, setting number of fuel. Multi-fuel engines authorize fuel. Multi-engines are four-stroke cylinder diesel engine will operate satisfactorily wide fuel variety. Fuel fuels are grouped accordingly. Primary alternative one fuel fuels will operate with the multi-fuel engine, no additives. Alternative two fuel fuels generally require addition of diesel fuel to operate multi-fuel engine. Emergency fuel. The fuels will operate multi-fuel engine with additional diesel fuel. However, the extended use of fuels from this group will eventually follow the fuel injection. Parts. It should be noted that there are no adjustments necessary to engine when changing the, from one fuel to the other. Fuel density capacitor. Multi-fuel engineer operates very um, fuel with a broad range of capacity with the heat values. These variation fuel, fuels affect the engine operate output because of the acceptable with the power output engine vary with the fuel and changes. Multi-fuel engines fitted with a device known as a fuel density capacitor. 
The fuel density capacitor is a device that serves the vary the quantity of the fuel injected with the engine regulating fuel load stop of the fuel and pump. The character of the fuel show the heavy va heated value of decreasing almost in inversely proportional to the viscosity fuel density compensator viscosity indicated with the regulating fuel flow with the operation as follows. The fuel supply enters the compensator through the fuel pressure regulator, which applies pressure regulated with a constant 20 psi regardless of the engine speed of load range. Pressure regulated the fuel passes through the series of two orifices. Two orifices operating greatly, offering greatly different resistance flow of the fuel system sensitivity and viscosity changes. First orifice annual, annular formed with the clearance between the servo piston and cylinder orifice is sensitive to viscosity. Second orifice is forced, formed by adjusting the needle valve unlike the first, not viscosity sensitive. After the fuel passes through the two orifices, it leaves the compensator through the outlet port. From here, the fuel back, um, passes back to the pump. The higher the viscosity of the fuel, the more trouble it will have passing the first orifice to recover the fuel pressure under the servo piston and will rise proportionally with the viscosity because of the, the second orifice the not viscosity sensitive pressure over the servo and piston will remain fairly constant. This will cause the pressure differential to increase proportionally with the within viscosity that in turn will cause the piston to seek position and its bore if it becomes higher viscosity increases. Upward moving the servo piston will move with the wedge shape. The move of the plate increase the fuel density delivery. Low viscosity fuel will cause the piston to move downward, cause the pump to decrease fuel delivery. Conclusion task describing the character of the diesel fuel will have gain and understanding the diesel fuel or intention in the next task will focus on function and construction of diesel fuel systems. And then it goes on lesson two, task two. And we're going to skip that.